Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. As we all know, we eat with our eyes first. If the food looks good and colorful, it might subconsciously stimulate hunger. To intensify certain dishes, adding food coloring is often used. They are commercial ones you can buy at the store and natural ones you can make at home. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my four natural food colorings. Each color, which is green, yellow, pink and purple, are so easy to make. Fresh ingredients are used, making them much healthier than the ones from the store. So my friends, let's get cooking. The first one we'll make is the green color. So in a blender, we'll add the spinach that we thawed out earlier, plus a couple of tablespoons of water. And we'll process until well blended and smooth. If it needs a little bit more water, go ahead and add a tablespoon at a time. Now we'll pour the spinach into a sieve placed over a bowl. And using a spatula, we'll toss around, scraping the bottom so the liquid drains faster which should take about 10 minutes. Then we'll pour it into an airtight container. This makes about half a cup and we'll transfer to the fridge. Let's move on with yellow. So in a small pot, we'll add water and ground turmeric. We'll set the heat on medium and give a little whisk. We'll bring it to a simmer and cook for three minutes. We'll remove from the heat and transfer the mixture to an airtight container. Next one we'll make is the purple. So we'll add the blueberries to the blender with water. As you'll see on the blog, if you need to, add more water. And like we did with the green color, we'll process until smooth. We'll transfer to a sieve, place over a bowl, and do the same thing as the spinach by scraping the bottom to make it drain faster. Just in case there are little pieces that went through, what I like to do is to drain it again through an even finer sieve. That way, I'm sure it's all liquid. Then transfer to a container. Last but not least, the pink color. So here I have fresh beets that I cut into small pieces and we'll add just enough water to cover them. We'll bring it to a simmer and cook until the beets are tender. The best way to find out, use a pointy knife. Then we'll remove from the heat and strain the liquid into a container. And my friends, these are four natural food colorings. When you want to add color to your recipes, don't use commercial dyes with chemicals because now you have another choice with natural ingredients. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient months and more info. Until next time, my friends. Bon appétit.